concept of today's video is going to be showing off all the various products, some stuff you may like, some really quick hits. If you want a more concentrated version of some of the booths, we're going to have individual videos coming up after a while. There's kind of a phase or a fad in the goalie community going on right now about trigger grips. So taking your stick, kind of making a little cutout in here, place your finger in. These fix it and they have a bunch of benefits. Hear me out here. When you actually get it on the ice and you start using it, I think the first thing that came to my mind was this is the best 10 or 15 bucks I think I've spent in a while. Um, I've had this one on since August. My new true A6.0 hair trigger does not have it on. This would be my grip. So I'm going to fire it right in the little corner crevice here. Save a couple bucks, maybe don't tip your waitress next time you go to the, <laughs> to the restaurant. You just got yourself a free grip. Thanks for stopping by, Chad. I've always been seeing you. Player, old school. Oh, these are the goon ones. Get to the chopper. I'm such a goon. <laughs> that is the Nasher. I think he's kind of soft. And then that is Jeremy. He's got a hot wife. Let's go talk to him. So, do I get to dunk this guy in the tank or what? Oh, hey, Chad. I mean, right? I don't think so because we'd be here all day before you even hit that thing. I think you're a little bit too light to make it go down. I don't think you go anywhere. <laughs> you turn sideways, you disappear. How's it going, buddy? Oh my gosh, the man, the man. How you doing, uh, You're bigger in person, huh? Sir, yeah. I'd like to more, know more about the E-Flex 4 line. E-Flex 4? Some refinements on E-Flex 4, thinner profile, stiffer thigh rise, no straps. Uh, something else we're seeing from a lot of pad manufacturers is a Velcro bungee toe system. Check out this seal. Especially for a hybrid pad, it's pretty good. So Jet Speed, the long-awaited uh, CCM cowlingless skate. It, it just backs a bolt out and it fits inside of a pin here in the blade. And give this a couple more turns. Until that backs into the holder and it's nice and tight and you're good to go. go you, got, you got this covered, you've done this before. <laughs> it's not my yeah. first rodeo. Yeah. Excuse me sir, I haven't popped by the butt ends booth yet, I'd like to see how things hey, are going. I thought we were working together here. How long have we been using them? For like two and a half years? Yeah, a couple years now, eh? If you're really crazy like me, you can do this. I take the sensory grip, because I love the goalie knob, I'll hack that off, and then I'll combine that with an actual player grip, just to kind of mix and feel different textures. So normally you'd have to have this, Sentry knob, future grip. You kind of dibble and dabble with whatever you want. Another reason I did it was for uh, color aesthetics too, and I've combined them with just about every other grip. There out there, so. Sir, I haven't heard of no name. Feel free to tell me about it. Give me the skill. Uh, well, we sell custom made hockey sticks, and you can pick your color. Uh, you get your name and number put on them, and we make awesome goalie sticks now too. These are the no name foam core custom wings. I compare them to like CCM foam core, like an Infinity, a Paso, similar weight. I think similar feel off the bat. Winnipeg base. I think this might be the most flexible, torquey foam core stick I've ever felt. I think. Hey coach, you're in my shot there, bud. Why don't you give a little plug to Sparks first before we start this video, because you've been a pretty big advocate for them, eh? Yeah, I mean, I've been using it since basically the, the day it came out, even before that, and absolutely love it. It's consistent. I, I don't take my skates to shop anymore. It just pops in like that. The only thing that this does is because there's a cowling, it keeps it from rotating, so it just lifts the skate up a touch high. Hey, yeah, spray some Febreze in these things, would you, Trav? Sorry. I can smell it from here. Hey, you know what that smell is? Hard work and dedication uh, there, it Coach. It smells more like a uh, cat box that the cat curled up and died inside. Used by 25 NHL teams now. Really? Yep. Um, over 10,000 users, consumers have it. Well, you stretch it out for me or what? I'm stretching, I'm ready. Why, I'm going to bend you over in a game of sauce or what? Uh, no, uh, tonight. We're playing tonight. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Dude, <laughs> How's it going, bro? The flow, it was pinned back last Dude, year. The flow is in all another level this uh, year. You had four kids, they came to all the games, and they rode on the team bus, and he drove the bus. <laughs> you want to talk about a team on a budget? That's on budget. That's fantastic. And they'd have eight guys show up for the game, and he was like one of them. Kids, show. fill the water bottle, kids. Get out of there. <laughs> We're amp human, and, and what our product does is it neutralizes acid in your muscle as you create it. So, you know, if the coach ever puts you on the line at the end of, end of a practice and your legs are just, you know, really burning and really firing, we're able to, to minimize that burn, right? And then that means really, really Really good recovery for the next day. Yeah, this, this is our standard size tube. It gets you about 15 workouts, 15 skates, and again, all you do is you apply it before you step on the ice, before you get into the gym. Um, you put it on your body and uh, underneath your compression or your Under Armour or whatever you use, uh, and then away you go. It absorbs naturally through the skin, and uh, it's all informed choice, informed sport. Uh, 
cleared through the FDA and, and um, safe for anybody to use. So we're going to talk about the Genetic 4 pad. Uh, this is our new pro product. There's been an evolution. The last few years, a lot of goaltenders have really been evolving to wanting an open knee cradle. Also coming stock, we have our pro knee stack. So the density of this knee stack, it's rock solid. You'll notice like with a lot of pads, sometimes people talk about how it pulls up. Yeah. We really did a nice job with the high density foam. So it really stays flush. And what you see here with the TKA, you got your thigh, knee, ankle flexes. We still can customize those flex zones. So I still want some more flex in my thigh rise too. So I would customize this as a 444. The ash palm was something that was on our original Genetic Pro Glove. Uh, and we had it on our original uh, import versions of our Genetic line. So the thought process behind that is, is that you might increase the friction a little bit so when you get pucks it hit it and go into the pocket. Oh, those thief eyes, those are, those are really sexy. Uh, the gloves are my favorite part of, the, of all the Brian's lineups. Yep. Feel. Well, I mean, we, we take a lot of pride in our gloves. There's no way you can get a better fit in a catch glove with a Velcro strap or a nylon pull cinch strap. You'll notice we opened up the cut here, so it's a little bit more open, easier to grab your water bottle. This is Colby. He knows a thing or two about drones, and we're going to go fly them. Let's do it. So the Expo's been kind of crazy so far. Um, like I mentioned before, I don't like the fact that they're charging people five bucks to get in. I think stuff like this should be free. I want to end this video by showing you the best booth of the Expo. Check it out. What's happening, man? Ladies and gentlemen, you've watched all the videos, you've seen the sideline swap ads. This isn't an ad, this is just to kind of touch on the booth that's here at the Expo. What is sideline swap? It's a marketplace to buy and sell sports equipment. So tons of hockey players out there buying and selling to each other. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. So come close here. Sideline swap is the premier outlet to buy and sell pro return New Year's sporting equipment. Like when you got Peter Morazic pro return blocker, Darcy Kemper pro return glove, Ethan K glove, like it's all tracked, right? So there is no guy like, yeah, I shipped it. I didn't have a tracking label. Like, everything's there for you. You, can, you don't pay for shipping, so you use that label. I mean, yeah, you got to get a printer, which kind of sucks. I can't afford one, but, you know, like, you get a printer. Go to a library at school. Yeah, you I mean, get your money back if you don't get the item. You got to pay a little bit of a fee, but it's honestly not even that bad. Yeah, and it's only when the item sells, too. So we never take more than 50 bucks from you as our commission, so. If you ever sold on eBay and you sell a set for, like, four grand, and you got to pay, like, 20% on eBay, fuck that. Not doing that at Sideline Swap. We're having fun here at the show. Get to finally meet you and, and having a good weekend. So excited to see where things keep going and stay to hockey. Thank you for watching this video. Go to sidelineswap.com and I will see you next week if I'm still alive. Doses.